I'm an invited guest at this event, and I'm also writing another book about the British in LA. So please, Constable, please open the door. I am a colony member. Actually, I've been following the activities of our ethnic minority for some time. Facts. There are 350,000 of us here in Southern California, organized into 57 clubs. Thistle, Leek, Mayflower, you name it. Yorkshire, Lancashire, Kangaroo. It's all going into my book. VIPs, are, are they all, uh, is Roger Moore here, I haven't spotted him. No, um, Roger, his agent called me yesterday, he yes. couldn't get back into town and wasn't able to come. Oh, so what a shame. Is yes. Cary, now Cary Grant was going to come, is Yes, that? but he's in London, oh, and he's in London. Uh, he was hoping to get back today, but I understand he didn't make it back today, and so he won't be, a, he won't be coming. His secretary called me and told me that he won't be able to come. Juliet Mills tonight. is here. Juliet Mills oh, yeah, is here, right? Isn't yeah, she is I haven't here. seen her, but, uh, but she is, um, Juliet is slated here. to be here, right. Now, who else? Badly. Well, I had a word with her. Yeah, she's we, quite we, we, oh, she is. Who else have you got here on um, the on the Annalee VIP? and Annalee. her husband Robert um, Nathan. Nathan the author. Yes. Is he English? No. Oh, he's married. But she is. She is. Yes. English. He just um, finished writing another another book, so we no. thought they might be interested to come. Who else have and, you got? And um, we have. Um, Keep it going. I know it's insane. In another part of the city, an old friend of mine is hard at work. Peter Asher was, like me, one of the British rockers who invaded America in the 1960s. Remember Peter and Gordon? Since then, Peter has moved behind the scenes, propelling two American artists into the million sellers, singer-songwriter James Taylor and country rock star Linda Ronstadt. Peter is concentrating on a final mix-down of Linda's new album. It's certain to sell a million. once again to Cynic's Choice. Brian Kluwer here with you, as we are every Sunday morning with this imposition of British comedy and music. And today, for several special reasons, uh, we're going to require something of you, our regular Cynic's Choice friends. It's going to be your turn to do something for Britain. Brian Kluwer from Ilford has presented Cynic's Choice for 13 years. The disc jockeying for Brian is only a part-time job. 
His real work is organizing charter flights. He's also chairman of the British Commonwealth Fortnight Activities Committee. I like to tune into his show for all the colony news. Yes, that's Scotch on the Rocks. I just about worn out that track of that record, I think. However, as I said when we started this morning's Cynic's Choice, today I'm going to ask you to do something for Britain. And the thing that I'm going to ask you to do is really very simple. While Scotch on the Rocks is playing, would each of you be good enough to go to the telephone and call three of your friends or relatives and tell them that this afternoon, or all afternoon, the Commonwealth Games are being held at Woodley Field in Encino. Yes, Brian, I'm definitely coming to the Games. But first, I'm seeing Peter Asher. Beverly Hills into another colony, a long way from my Hollywood and a long way from British Fortnight, a colony of rock stars. Once this magnificent spread was the playground of film stars, but nowadays the rockers are moving in. The rock easily outgrosses the movies. Up we go, past the legendary Pickfair, home of Mary Pickford, up to the very top of Summit Ridge Drive, to a house that was once bought by band leader Artie Shaw as a love nest for his bride Lana Turner. California sun, lotus blossoms, champagne, beautiful spread you've got here. Are you glad you left the old country? I'm glad I'm here. I mean, that doesn't make me necessarily glad I left England. I would, I mean, one thing I regret is that they are so far apart that you can't be in both places more often. What do you miss? One gets nostalgic for, for weird pieces of trivia, like Bovril or something, that you just never run into, or lemon barley water. Marmite? Marmite, yes. Well, I can't well, you import real to Marmite. Now, Peter, um, yes. aside from your, your pop life here, do, do, you, do you have much contact with the British community? I was going to say colony, but community here. Are you aware, for instance, that, that right now is British fortnight? No, I wasn't. You, you told me that earlier, and it came as a complete shock. I, I, uh, so I suppose that means I'm not in touch with the British community, no. I mean, I have a number of friends here who are British and people I work with that are British. The, the, the tour manager. Anybody you know? Anybody? Uh, no, not really. But I mean, I'm surprised when I heard about this program and how many people there were here. I started realizing that the, the tour manager I use for all my tours for James, who also does David Bowie and other people, is is Scottish. The art director I used to do Linda's album covers is English. Oh, John and, Posh. Yes, yeah. and it it it. Uh, I started to realize there are a lot of them. And those are the English people that I know, uh, mostly are the ones I work with. And I don't think they know it's British Fortnight either. Oi! 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 Now that was Tommy Steele, a very bright little song. As we continue Cynic's Choice this morning, Brian Cluer here with you. Uh, when I said that uh, Woodley Field was in Encino, I was only about four or five miles out. It's actually in Van Nuys. <laughs> the day here at Woodley Field has been very exciting and very sunshiny and all the rest that we expect from Southern California. Right behind me, for instance, is a soccer match going on, which is the final of the American Youth Soccer Organization game between Winnetka Warriors, wearing the blue stripes, and the Granada Hills soccer shoes are in yellow. The cricket match which has just started is between the British Consul's 11 and the Australian Consul General's 11. And the Australian Consul General won the toss. The uh, team that's in the field is the English team. And I'm going to call it England and Australia. I think that'd be the best way to do it. Cricket field, this is out here, consists of two wickets, which are great big one yard long yellow pieces of wood stuck in the ground. The idea is that the bowler 
to try and knock those wickets and when he does so the batsman is out. The batsman however has a large bat to stop him from doing this.